Well, this is going to be a uh, helpful video for you on partial quotient division. This is the type of division that gives everybody a headache, um, especially parents who were taught a more traditional method. And it's tough for the students, too, because they don't always understand quite how this all works. So we're going to walk you through a few examples here and explain it as we go along. The first example that we're going to do is 58 divided by 4. Now the first thing you're going to notice when you attempt one of these partial quotient problems is that we add this extra long line, this vertical line, up and down the length of the page. And we're going to do that because we're actually going to solve um, how many 4s are in 5 and then subtract and bring down the 8. We're actually going to look at this as a whole number. We're actually going to ask how many 4s are there in the number 58. Now what I like to have the students do is to work with multiples of 10 if they can. 58 um, has more than 10 4s in it, because if we do 10 times 4, we'll get 40. Lily says hello. She's in here in the room as well. So if you hear her in the background, um, that's what you're hearing. There are 10 4s in 58. So we have 4 times 10 is 40. Now we can subtract. 58 minus 40 is going to give us 18. This is a partial answer, our partial quotient, and that's where this way of division gets its name. How many 4's are there in 18? There are 4. 4 times 4 is 16. We subtract, gives us a final answer of 2. Well, I'm sorry, not a final answer, but a final remainder of 2. There are f um, 4 does not go into 2, so this is going to be left over. Our final step is to add up our quotients together. 10 plus 4 is 14, which is going to give us a final answer of 14 remainder 2. Now, that went pretty quick. Let's do another example and see um, what we can do with that. For this next problem, we're going to do 19 divided by 4. This is kind of a basic one. Let's go back and kind of slow it down a little bit as we take a look at this. How many 4s are in 19? This is a prime reason why we do partial quotient division. This is the perfect method for solving a division problem if you don't know all your multiplication facts. Let's say you just don't know that 4 times 4 is 16, okay? But you do know that 4 times 2 is 8. So let's say this. I know that there are at least two 4s in 19. So off to the side, we're going to mark down 2 because we're going to take out two 4s. 2 times 4 is 8, and now we'll subtract. 19 minus 8 is going to give us 11. All right, well, I know again that there are two 4s in 11 because 2 times 4 equals 8. So again, off to the side, I'm going to write the number 2. 2 times 4 is 8. We'll subtract 11 minus 8. That gives us an answer of 3. Does 4 go into 3? does not go into 3, so that's going to be our remainder. We'll add up our quotients. 2 plus 2 is 4. And our final answer will be 4 with a remainder of 3. There really is no one right way with partial quotients to make um, or do your multiplication, I'm sorry, your division problem. Let's take a look at the same problem, except this time we're going to use different, um, different numbers here. So here we use 2 and 2 to come up with 4 remainder 3. Let's try it a different way. Again, we're going to do 19 divided by 4. How many 4s are in 19? Well, let's see. I, I do know my math facts. I know that 4 times 4 is a square number that makes 16. So I'm going to subtract now 19 minus 16. That gives us 3. Well, 4 doesn't go into 3, does it? So what we can do then is there's our answer of 4 with a remainder of 3. There's actually one more way that we could solve this problem. Using the same example, we can do four, uh, 19 divided by 4. And let's say, wow, I really do not know how uh, or any of my four facts. So I do know that 4 times 1 is 4. I know that. So I'm going to take 1, 4 out. That gives me 15. Well, I still only know 1 times 4. So I'm going to take another 4 out. 
that gives me 11. Again, I only know that one fact. So I'm going to take out another 4 to make my line a little longer here. Again, I only know that one fact, so I'm going to take out one more 4. And finally, 4 doesn't go into 3. So now I need to add up all of these quotients. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 plus 1 is 4 to give me a final answer of 4 remainder of 3. So this is your partial quotient division tutorial video. Um, if you need more help with this, feel free to email me at my school address or send a note to school and we'll see what more examples we can put up or how we can help you and your student understand this one, uh, one strategy for solving long division problems. Certainly not the only one we teach, but uh, definitely one that's pretty powerful, especially if you don't have all your multiplication facts memorized.